Chinky, mas maganda ba talagang kumuha ng HMO, yung hospitalization, yung tinatawag na health maintenance organization? Kung gusto nyo malaman kung ano yung mga benefits nito, tune in, don't tune out. Videos that will make you wealthy and debt-free. Hi there, just Chinky Tan ang inyong pambansang Wealth Coach. Thank you very much for tuning in to this channel. If this is your first time to visit us, I encourage you to subscribe at the same time to follow this channel kasi marami kayong matunan about savings, budgeting, getting out debt, and investment. So, pag-usapan po natin ano ba talaga ang HMO, health benefits, tapos worth it ba talaga na kumuha at sa dulo ng video na ito, may good news ako. May good news po ako kung tatapusin niyo tong video na ito. Okay. Okay. Madalas po, nakaka-receive po ako ng mga tanong about HMO nga. Eh, kailangan ba talaga? Hindi ba talaga gastos to? But first, we talk about what you mean by HMO. It's called Health Maintenance Organization or Health Plan. Siyempre, kung membro ka ng HMO, ang more or less, uh, especially kung sa company, the company will pay for your health care and then especially, wala ka na problema sa, ano, sa doktor, sa medication, sa hospitalization dahil sino na po ang magbabayad. Okay, and then ang kaganda nun, sasagutin na po nila, may pwede ka magbayad ng annual, semi-annual, kung ano ang kaya mo. Okay, ano bang importance? Number one, ang kagandahan po pag meron tayong HMO, eh, masisecure ang iyong kalusugan. Actually, the reason why I can really talk with this in conviction because I can still remember in 2005, my wife uh, gave birth and then after three days, she suffered oh, no. a severe head migraine. And to cut the long story short, sa sobrang sakit ng kanyang ulo, I was forced to bring her back to the hospital. Nung inaano na siya MRI, bigla na nagsisigaw yung mga nurses ng code blue, code blue, na hindi ko naintindihan. Pala nagsisisure na pala yung misis ko. On the third seizure, she was on a comatose state. To cut the long story short, we stayed in the hospital for 21 days. Okay, she recovered. However, ito yung biggest mistake na gusto ko sabihin sa inyo na experience ko. I do not have an HMO. So, to cut the long story short, I was buried in debt. Millions, millions po. And it took me almost three years to pay it off. Kaya nga sasabihin ko po sa inyo, uh, malaking ano, sakit ng ulo na magkaroon ng karamdaman na ang pamilya. Mas malaki ang sakit ng ulo kung wala ka pambayad at napilitan ako mangutang. However, kung may HMO ka, malaking ano to, malaking relief na wala ka ng problemahin, masisecure iyong finances. Number two, Second reason kung bakit mahalaga po ang HMO because of the pandemic. Alam naman po natin, marami tayong mga kakilala na nagkaroon ng COVID, na na-hospital, at magkano po ang bills. Sige nga, kung kayo po ay, yun nga, na pinapanood nyo itong video na ito, may kakilala ba kayo, pakitype sa comment section magkano ang binayaran nilang bills sa COVID. I've known of people who paid for half a million, one million, two million, or even more. Eh, sana namang gumaling lahat, pero not everyone is blessed and fortunate. Some of them really passed pa. Yun. Kaya nga mga friendship pa, if you ask me, based on my personal experience, is HMO necessary? It's up to you. Ganun ba? You can take the risk na hindi ka magbayad, pero wag lang sana ma one time. Yung ma one time ka. Yun nga, daan libo or even million ang mawawala sa'yo. So, what are the things that you should consider before you get really an HMO? Number one, yung titignan mo po yung comprehensive coverage. Siyempre, mas mahalaga po yung mas maraming coverage po. Coverage like for example, yung pre-existing conditions. Kasama ba yung annual physical checkup? May teleconsultation ba because of COVID? Number two, check nyo rin yung network, yung lawak po. Eh, baka iilang hospital lang yan, iilang doktor lang. Dapat mas maganda nationwide. Oo. Number three, affordable ba? Eh, syempre, may mga iba. Di ba? Magaganda nga, pero hindi naman affordable. Hindi naman kaya ng bulsa. Wala pa naman taong tumatanggi na gusto magkaroon ng HMO. Lahat gusto. Pero the question always is the affordability. Kaya nga mga friendship, meron akong good news po sa inyo. After careful research of mga HMO, specifically so far mga staff ko, sa mga office staff at sa bahay po, I found out a personal HMO na subok na at affordable pa. Ito na yung tinatawag na My MaxiCare Card. Oh, grabe to. Ang kagandahan kasi ng HMO na ito, convenient na, trustworthy, and affordable pa. Like for example, ha, ano po yung mga benefits na makukuha nyo? Number one, outpatient care. Tapos meron din teleconsultation. Tapos widen yung reach. And then ang kagandahan dito, meron pa siyang mga rooms no, for board and accommodation. At the same time, yung professional fees at saka lab procedures kasama na rin po. Meron din tinatawag na emergency care just in case. no. Like for example, nakagat ka ng aso. 
or if not naman, check up. At kung hindi mo kayang pumunta, again, may teleconsultation at telemedicine. And there's even also dental care if you want to avail of it. And then, marami po talagang mga services pa na pwede nating makuha. Kaya nga, sulit na sulit na sulit na sulit talaga sa pinagpaguran po natin ng pera. Kaya nga, kung tatanungin nyo, napakadami po ng benefits ng card na ito, ng My MaxiCare Health Card. Kaya nga, if you want to have peace of mind for your family and then secure your family's need, no? and then wag na sana kayong uh, matulad po sa akin, noong nagkaroon po ng problema, oh, no. since wala akong health card, ano po nangyari, eh, yun nga, nagkaroon po akong problema. Pero ngayon, hindi na ako mamumoblema dahil meron na tayo may MaxiCare Health Card. Ang kagandahan po sa card na ito, may maximum care ka na, minimum worry. So, if you are interested to know more about my MaxiCare card, all you need to do is just click on the caption, check on the caption na nakalagay sa link section ko. Pwede nyo i-click to know more about the features. I hope that you are enlightened in this video sa para malaman nyo po kung is it really worth it to get your HMO. Tatungin ko kayo, worth it ba talaga na protektahan mo ang iyong pamilya? Mag-type kayo sa comment section kung worth it ba o hindi. So if you do like this video, my friends, I hope that you give me a like and also share this video with your friends. This is Chingitan saying to every problem, there's always a solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Always think positive. And what are the things that you should consider if you get it gaitan? So what are the things that Kaya nga mga friendship no? Uh... I found out, okay, a personal H of H, my maxi, dahil meron na tayong my maximer, because igat, uh, so sa maximer, ang kagandahan dito, may maxi market. Thank you for watching. If you want to suggest a topic or review that you would like me to discuss on the next video, please do comment below para mabasa po namin. Thank you very much and I'll see you on our next video. Thank you for watching. If you want to keep on growing and to stay inspired, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified. Always think positive.